What's up, people? It's OTC Prime back again. Uh, second video of the night. Uh, I am contemplating on doing the third because uh, we've got a really good game that I might bring out. So, um, as the previous video, I said it's been a while, so I might just treat you guys and just throw a few videos at you as it's, as I haven't been on YouTube for a while. So, um, I'm in an R, and I'll see how I feel after this video. So, yeah, uh, this is headquarters on Nuketown. Uh, I get my most ever kills in one game in this match. Uh, what can I say about Nuketown and Headquarters? <laughs> it is a uh, massacre. Uh, the spawn points are awful. Uh, it's terrible. So my well, my weapon setup and my kill streaks, my perks. Oh, sorry, weapon setup, perks, and kill streaks. Um, I'm using an AK74U with extended mags. Uh, hardline. Steady aim and ninja. Okay, and the reason why I am using uh, hardline and extended mags well, hardline gives me that one less kill, so I'm putting up UAVs pretty quickly, and it won't take me that long to get me to my chopper gunner. And on a map like this, uh, you got and the low ammo count or capacity that you have, um, you can string uh, a nice kill streak together and get some nice high kill streaks going. So. Um, because of the spawn points, they'll be spawning behind you, they'll be spawning next to you. Uh, it could be all over the place. So I think that one less kill could obviously get you that high kill streak. And that sort of happens a lot. So it's one of my favorite setups now is the hardline extended mags as an AK74U. Uh, I'm an R about changing it here or there, but it's my favorite right now. Um, so yeah. <coughs> I do get also get a lot of kills from this, but as I said, it's it's headquarters on Nuketown, and if you don't die less than 20 times, then you're obviously a camping motherfucker. Seriously, <laughs> you know there's no way in a headquarters game that you're gonna die less than uh, 20 times because you, you, as I said, you're an absolute camper if that happens, or you're an absolute beast. All right. <laughs> Because obviously the spawn points, the where they'll be spawning, they'll, as I said, they'll be spawning all over, all around you. So it's physically impossible not to die in this type of game game type. Um, maybe on a bigger map, you know, you die less than 10 times, which is possible. I've done it, and I've got near, near enough 60, just 50 to 60 kills, and died less than 10 times. Uh, but yeah. But I thought I'd bring this to you, um, because as I said, it's my highest kill total, so I thought I'd have to bring that out. Ah, excuse me. Uh, so yeah, you, c you don't really have a role in this type of map, uh, because of all the spawn points and how... You have to be pretty aggressive. Um, I can't sit and camp for long periods of time. I need to keep moving, uh, so my eyes are constantly... Uh, on the radar, trying to be as aware as possible to where the enemy is spawning, um, because one minute they could be spawning, uh, well, in my line of sight, or they'd be spawning behind me. So I'm constantly aware, and that's where the blackbird is good uh, when it comes into play a lot. And once you get a blackbird up, blackbird up, you're guaranteed to get a chopper gunner. I do fail on a few occasions where I'm on a nice kill streak, uh, but I either run out of ammo or they spawn next to me or I am unlucky and I get two occasions where I'm like one or two kills off another chopper gunner um, so I, I think I near enough have got over a hundred kills off this game on this match um, but I'm lucky and luckily I don't as I said I die one or two kills uh, off, off another chopper gunner here or there so I think I would have got at least uh, three or four chopper gunners in this game and I think I just get the one but that's pretty good because obviously you want to see ki more kills with the gun and not chopper gun alright so um, yeah so I get a lot of kills with my gun <laughs> which is always a good thing alright um, so yeah always be aware of where they are spawning try and be smart about it as you can see there at one minute I was downstairs the next I was upstairs all the time being aware of where the enemy is spawning and I'm constantly moving around I'm not staying in one spot because if you do that the enemy's got one minute they'll think you're upstairs so one of their buddies is going to go hey he's upstairs I will jump downstairs and I'll swoop around and kill him because obviously he's looking for me right so here I'm aware and I know this guy's going to come back here because obviously he's camping up here so 
I pull out his weapon and I kill him with his own gun. Always nice, right? So he'll, he'll think that I'm in that room, so what I do is I jump out of the weapon here and I'll be on the ledge. Right there. One off my chopper gunner. I'm unlucky. I'm getting hit markers on the guy, but I die. So, yeah. <laughs> it happens. As you can see, my editing skills are a bit better. I've uh, done the game before. Sorry, the video before. Look, this guy's constantly camping. So he's constantly trying to come up on these rooms. Um, because obviously he's not an objective person. He's a camper. And he wants to use these rooms. <coughs> and later on in this game, uh, one of my buddies... Uh, Slap Happy Nuns uh, joins the game, um, so I become completely aware of him, so obviously you, you try and impress each other and you go against each other, <laughs> which can sort of end, well, ruin your game here or there, but hey, see there you go, there he is. Uh, he's, an, he's an extremely good player, Slap Happy Nuns. Uh, he's... Uh, on one of my subscriptions, so uh, if you want to check him out, go ahead. Um, he's one of my buddies, QP's buddies. I met him through QP. Um, so yeah, once again, also check QP out, he's a beast. Sorry, there's, re there's really not much to talk about. <laughs> I haven't got a lot on my mind. Um, apart from, I'll just point out a few events here or there, what happens. Um, you, you see me spraying and praying a lot, um, because you never know. Um, and that one bullet can kill a person. But when I, if I get hit markers, and I'll continu continue to shoot, you know. Um, I don't care about wasting ammo. I'm going to die. It's inevitable, so... Um, it's, it's not worth being conservative on a headquarters game type on Nuketown. Uh, because it's inevitable that you're going to die, so... Use as many bullets as you want. <laughs> Just spray, man. Get that kill. See, right here, um, I don't have... Well, he has a, a better view than I do. Or, so I come upstairs and I finish him off. Always think smart. Standing in the doorway, you're bound to get killed. So I come up top where I have the higher ground, and I'm more likely to kill him than standing in that doorway where he has the jeepers cover, and I have zero cover. So always, always be aware of the main spots on the map, the sight lines, uh, where people are known and bound to camp. Uh, so, for instance, the jeeps. Uh, the white picket fences and the upstairs. And they're always going to be in that window. There's always going to be someone in those rooms. So be aware of those. Check those sight lines out. Um, and that should lead you to, to some nice kill streaks and keep you alive. And once again, always be aware of the spawn points and the, the map. Always make sure your team's using UAV. There's, everyone should be using UAV. If you don't, then you're not doing a good job for your team. There's on some occasions where I don't, uh, but that might be because I'm playing against a really terrible team and I want to maximize my kills, so I will switch out the UAV and put a straight on attack box. But that is not, well, I don't do that a lot. <laughs> You'll see me run a lot of UAV, Blackbird, and Chopper Gunner. Um, because it's not hard for me to get a Chopper Gunner. And I'll, I'm guaranteed to get what, at least one or two Chopper Gunners a game. And that's not being big headed, that's just. It's just how it is. <laughs> Running with strong teams, um, they help me a lot. So um, we always got UAVs ups and Blackbirds. Everyone uses a Blackbird now. So yeah, it's good. <coughs> so what do you guys think of my little title and my um, my little what's it on my gun? Uh, a lot of people think it's Almo, but it's not Almo. It's a what's it. And the what's it is checking out the chick, alright? <laughs> so you got another blackbird up, always good. So on a map like Nuketown or smaller maps, if you got your UAV up, um, just rush that spawn, just push your luck. Obviously, if you're running out of ammo, then back off and, um, and try and whack, whack them or get your score up. Um, so, if you got the UAV up, try and get to the blackbird as quickly as possible. Get your Blackbird, 
Um, all you need is one kill, so don't use the Blackbird. Try and get that Chopper Gunner. Once you've got the Chopper Gunner, call in your Chopper Gunner. Come out of the Chopper Gunner. Call your Blackbird out. You're on your way to another kill streak. So uh, it's like snowballing, you know? Snowball effects. Yeah. Once you get one kill streak up, you're bound to get another. See, I've constantly always got either a UAV in my pocket that I can call, so it's all good. Spy plane ready for deployment. Friendly spy plane inbound. Friendly spy plane inbound. Yeah, I was sort of umming and ahhing about bringing this game to you because obviously I get like 20 odd kills, or deaths, sorry. Um, so I, I, I personally didn't think or deemed good enough, but then I re reviewed the video and I saw that, hey, I actually got a lot of uh, kills with my uh, with my gun instead of a chopper gunner, so I thought it was pretty good. 75 kills with like, what, 4 kills from a chopper gunner? So 70, 71 kills all from my, from my hand is pretty good, I think, so... I deemed, hey, I thought to, thought to myself, hey, I deemed it good enough to show it. So it's my most kills in one game on a on well Nuketown. So yep, there it is. <laughs> so I'm rambling on. It's getting pretty late now, but whatever. So we've got like three minutes to go. Got a nice bump. So right here, I am shooting at this guy. Yeah, like, and he just, just commando lunges me up the stairs. It really pisses me off, man. A lot of my friends get annoyed with me because I bitch a lot. I think I have every right to bitch here or there, you know? Because if you, if you deem yourself that you've been let down by the game, you know, I'm going to call it out. And I, I bitch about my connection a lot. Because <laughs> so I'm always on three bars, man. It's not... Well, it's very rare that I'm on four bars, you know? Like, on this game, I'm actually on a four bar connection. So I'm actually trying to be as aggressive as possible. And I, and I laugh it. I laugh a lot when my uh, my buddies go, "Hey, I'm on a three bar." Oh dear! And I'm like, "Come on now, man! I play on three bars all the fucking time. Come on now!" The other reason why I'm using um, extended mags um, is obviously because on a small map like this, reloading is a bit of a pain in the ass. Because once you kill one person with the the standard mag, you're gonna have to reload because you're gonna have like 10 bullets left. So you have to reload. Uh, you're lucky if you get a kill with those 10 bullets. Um, so the extended mags allows me not to reload as much. So as you can see, I get one kill. Don't have to reload. I can get another. I can get at least three kills out of one magazine. So and that's the reason why I use the extended mags. So it's, it's up to you whether you want, want to use dual mags with uh, uh, sleight of hand. A sleight of hand will allow you to uh, reload quicker. Uh, I'm not too sure um, of steady aim helps with this AK-74 for you because you see me a lot aiming from the hit but I'm not getting the kill whereas if I use the MP5 with uh, steady aim I'm gonna get that kill it seems like the MP5 and steady aim is a good combination so uh, I'm an R with using a uh, slide of hand with uh, dual mags or the extended mags with steady aim so I'm gonna experiment with that in the future so uh, slide of hand is gonna obviously help you uh, with the bad connection, so it's, it's up to you, really. But anyways, I rambled on a lot. Job, um, hopefully, you got a few tips from me here or there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. You lot take it easy. Peace!